So here are five fundamentals of having a good serve. Five steps to take to have a good serve. Step number one, two things. You need a good grip, which is a chopper grip, continental grip. And step number two, you need to master your ball toss. Without those two things, the rest of the things won't fall in place. So the first thing is, on the ball toss, a common mistake is people hold the ball in the palm of their hand and this will create spin when they release the ball. So two things you can try out, hold the, hold the ball in your fingertips, that's step number one, and place the ball instead of tossing the ball. Don't go fast. From here, you'll see the best players in the world, Federer is one of the best at it. He'll go slow with his left arm, he's not going fast, which is a common mistake. From here you go slow and you place the ball. Instead of going too quick, you're going slowly with this left hand, if you're right handed. You're going slowly down, you're coming up slowly. You're placing the ball. Don't think about throwing it up too high. Step number two to having a good serve, getting into a good trophy position. Trophy position is where you see the top of the racket up to the sky, the non-hitting hand pointing up to the ball, to the contact point. It's basically like being in a throwing position. If you can master the throwing position from here, and you feel that you can throw a ball good from that position, that's basically the same position you want to reach on the serve. Well, however you get there, there's so many ways to get into a good trophy position. You've got Roddick, he did a short swing, he got straight to here. You've got Federer who drops the racket and comes up all the way. You've got Nadal who does a short take back but gets to here. They all get into a good trophy position, good power position. From here, they're ready to accelerate the racket head to hit the ball. And the easiest way to find a good trophy position, start off like this, bend your hitting arm and drop the back shoulder. And that's pretty much a good trophy position straight away. So again, back to here, bend your elbow until it's a 90 degree angle, shoulder height the elbow's at, so in line with the shoulder, and drop the back shoulder like this. Step number three to having a good serve, using your legs to generate power. So most good players, they'll get into a good knee bend when they reach this back position, the trophy position, and from here, they'll drive up to the contact point. So a good knee bend and a good leg drive are fundamentals to having a good serve. There's so many different stances that you can try out. You can try the pinpoint stance, you can try the platform stance, or you can try a variation of both, a wide pinpoint or a narrow platform stance. Either stance you can try and find which one works best for you, but you need to make sure that when you get in that leg drive position, from here, you're pushing off the ground as explosively as possible. And step number four is pronation during the contact point. So prior to pronation happening, pronation is this action. You hit the ball and the palm is turning outwards, that's pronation. But prior to pronation, you have supination which is basically the opposite of pronation. So if you put your racket like this, you'll feel that is pronation through the contact point. And you're looking to do that action above your head when you make contact. But the only way that will happen is if you have the chopper grip. So that starts from, the, from step number one, having the correct grip. But this is basically pronation from here. That's the feel. The bottom of the racket is coming towards the ball first. Then the strings open up towards the target and then the palm will turn outwards as you hit the ball from here this way And step number five, after you finish the pronation, the racket will drop down into a good finish. 
a common mistake that you see a lot of players do. They'll hit the ball with a straight arm and they'll drop the racket with a straight arm. And this will create a lot of problems in the shoulder area and the elbow. So as soon as you hit the ball, you want to feel that your elbow is starting to relax from here and you're coming down with a bent elbow. Instead of keeping the arm straight the whole way down from the contact point, putting a lot of strain on the shoulder, you want to feel that you're relaxed after you hit the ball and you're coming down like this, relaxed. And here is a drill that will help you improve your power position, trophy position, and the ball toss timing. So you take two tennis balls, you start off with them together like you're in your normal serve. So again, normal ready position here. Do your normal service motion to get into the back position, the trophy position. From here, this one tosses up, and you have to try to clash the balls. So from here, normal back position, clash. So that's what you have to try to do. You'll find it hard to begin with, but you'll find the timing if you keep practicing it. So a quick recap, step number one, good grip and master your ball toss. Step number two, reaching a good power position, trophy position, like this. Step number three, using your leg drive to generate the power. Step number four, pronation during the contact point. And step number five, a good finish. And if you like this video, please click like and leave a comment below. And if you want more advice on your serve, please visit the link below.